Hello, it's Sam from Cycle Factory. Welcome back to the channel. A uh, bit of a different video. Thought I'd just uh, give you a little update on my Evil Insurgent MX. Uh, just a few thoughts on um, a few rides in and a race. Um, just see what we think, really. So, size large. I'm like six foot tall. I, I'm, I rode the large reckoning before this, so um, I was really happy with the sizing on that. Stayed with the stayed with the same. Um, so, just flip you around. So, the mullet thing. Obviously, I've been on full twenty nine on reckonings for well, and another twenty nine. It's probably about six, seven, eight years nearly. Uh, so, going to like a you know, I didn't try one of these first at all. This was the first proper normal mullet I'd ridden. I'd ridden an e-bike, but you can't tell because they just ride totally different anyway. So what can I tell you? It it really does turn easier uh, than a full 29. Um, took me a little bit of adjusting. I didn't ride it at all and I went to Bolt Bash Enduro and just raced it. Uh, <laughs> which is probably a bit daft, but actually I had uh, my best result there, so kind of tells you something, I suppose. I had to get used to it a little bit, like it, it oversteering a little bit, overturning, just, you know, it drops into the corners easier. Um, it, has, it just has a different feel to it, really. Um, so the other thing, I haven't played about with the, the flip chip on this. I used to run my old Reckoning in extra low, um, just to get that to make it turn better and it was it, it made it really good but pedal strikes became a thing and then you know for enduro that's not great um, so this one is in the higher mode uh, or low not extra low uh, which makes the seat tube uh, angle steeper the bottom bracket that bit higher um, but the bike turns better than the old Reckoning did in extra low, so now I've got better pedal clearance, it climbs better. I don't know with the climbing. Um, adding to that is the, you know, that rear wheel's lighter, it pedals easier. Uh, it's easier to accelerate, it feels like you get a bit more pump out of stuff as well, with that smaller rear wheel. Of the stuff I've been riding, um, I haven't noticed that it's like been hanging up on stuff. Obviously, we'll, we'll, as I ride it more, we'll find out. But uh, so far, so good. Really loving it. Um, it also looks amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. If you've got any other questions or you're thinking about them, you know, feel free to message us or put a question in, in the uh, the comments, and I'll get back to you um, or anything I might have missed. Um, but yeah did so far loving the mullet thing it just feels more playful more maneuverable more agile um, easier to get up on the back wheel um, easier to pedal accelerates faster can't really seem to be there's not really any downsides so far I just feel really good on it even after such a short time and been on the old reckoning for 18 months or so, so flip you around again so I went with a dyed bro kit on this I didn't want to cover the whole bike in Invisiframe which makes it all a bit even though it's a matte finish it's like shiny it spoils the look it looks so nice with a matte, matte finish um, so this kit just covers the obvious bits the underside of the down tube and seat stays and chain stays so I'll put the luff cap in the Zeb again uh, which makes a nice difference obviously the new forks are, are out now with the basically the, the luff cap style air shaft um, and the new damper I've been running GX on the old bike as well, um, which managed to get XO1 on this, and it's so good. 
the gear shifts are better than GX. <laughs> and from a previous bike, when I ran the X01 cassette, that they last so well. If you keep on top of the chain strip, you know where, change your chain at 0 0.3, 0 0.4, just go on forever. Cord RSC brakes. I put the HS2 rotors on, which I did have towards the end on the Reckoning, which make a big difference. You get a lot more power out of the brakes with those rotors over the centre lines. Definitely a, a worthy uh, upgrade. Running the warm-up stuff in the stem, so in the steerer. Uh, like I say, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, like I said, leave a comment, drop us a message, whatever. And check out cyclefactory.co.uk. If you're after an evil, we've been selling them for, since we... Forever. Six, seven years. Uh, we love them. They don't make great business sense, but they're amazing bikes. So, give us a shout. Cheers. Bye.